That's why we started out? Yeah, a statement from Coach and then questions for the players. Okay. Um, obviously, a hard-fought game. Did, does anybody have a stat sheet or a stat? Yeah. There we go. I like to have that, you know, with me. Um, you know, great hard-fought game. You know, totally what we expected, you know, between both teams. We had two really close games um, in the regular season. Uh, you know, really uh, – uh, Excited for New Hampshire, you know, coming off last year. I know, obviously, you know, you never want your season to end, but, you know, the way that they played this year, uh, coming off of last season, uh, a lot to be proud of. Um, and, and I think poised for another uh, year of growth, summer of growth, there were some really good young players that play hard. Uh, you know, they, they listen to their coach. They, they play the right way. Um, and they're fun to compete against. They really are. Um, you know, for us, you know, obviously we didn't know what was going to happen with KJ, you know, in the game, so we were kind of thrown for a loop. It's been kind of the story of the season uh, for us, and, um, you know, we were able to, to, to get through it. He was able to, to tough it out, and, um, you know, I thought, you know, there was, there was more points scored in this game, and I think both teams were probably anticipating uh, going in. And so we had to keep up, you know, in, in some respects uh, from an offensive perspective. And, you know, KJ got us going early. Brandon made some good plays. Uh, and then I thought the key moment, you know, for us was in the middle of the second half, you know, where our defense kind of kicked in <clears throat> and we were able to execute uh, several times, um, you know, in the half court when we got some clean looks and some good baskets to get a little bit of separation. And uh, obviously we were able to finish the game. So right. fortunate to move on. Questions for players? KJ, in your mind, was there any doubt you were going to play? I know they had said you'd see how you do warm ups and everything, but did you feel good all along? Or I mean, uh, <clears throat> senior year, uh, I wanted to definitely be out there and definitely play. Um, warm ups went good, so kind of just I kind of tried not to predetermine anything positive or negative and just thinking about, you know, what was going to be best for myself as well as the team, just want to be out there if I was going to be able to give it my all. Um, and so just went, went based off my body, how it felt in warm-ups and uh, pre-game, and it was, turned out pretty well. KJ and Brandon both, one of the things that their coach said and then we all noticed was y'all y'all got the ball down low a lot and you were able to cash in on it a lot. And that seemed like that was a difference. 38 points in the paint, you got half your points in the paint. Um, I, we, we thought, I know, us geniuses on press row thought that was the, that was a key. Let me get both of your thoughts on that, on getting the ball down low and scoring. Um, yeah, I think me personally, I, all season long, we've been successful with getting Brandon the ball, getting Misha the ball, and uh, also Dan letting him, you know, go to work, especially if they're going to give our guys one-on-one -on -one matchups. And uh, we just wanted to take advantage of that. And um, for guards, you know, we didn't want to – uh, forced too much and try to get it down there to him, but we took our chances to drive down there. And once we stopped up two feet, um, we just pipped it and took what they gave us, worked on it all week long, and uh, showed today. Right. Yeah, I think uh, we came into the game knowing they, how they play defense, they just lock out. And we had a one on one matchup in the post, so we just had to exploit it. And we went to that over and over and over, and it worked. I mean, you've been strong defensively all year, but do you feel this particular may be one of your strongest defensive games with the combination of the steals and just the overall pressure? You know, go the last five minutes without a basket, but yet you're able to hold them off, you know, due to the free throw shooting and the defense? Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought the defense was, was solid, you know, throughout, but I think the defense has been pretty good, mm -hmm. you know, the last half of the season. Um, you know, we played similar, you know, in, in some other games. And, uh, you know, I thought this one in particular, obviously, we. We focused in on, on uh, you know, they, they play seven guys, a lot of minutes, and, you know, we felt going in that we had to take at least two or three of their guys, you know, didn't matter who, um, they had to have subpar games and uh, or games that they hadn't been having. If they get to seven and they're all playing well, they were going to be tough to beat, and uh, I thought that was, you know, really the key for us. I think also one thing, you said the defense was, was solid throughout, but I think it was like 12, 13 minutes left. Then you started kind of extending it out a little bit because they were drilling all those. Yeah, all those no question. Things. And we switch, you know, we switch a lot. <clears throat> and, you know, they were able to get in the paint some. You know, they had a few in transition defense, you know, which obviously we were disappointed with. We felt like that would be, you know, could be a difference, you know, in the game. Whichever team could kind of grab hold of the transition offense. 
And I think our ability to take care of the ball, obviously, was, was big with that. We only had six turnovers. We didn't have a lot of assists, but you're not going to get a lot of assists against New Hampshire the way that they play. They, they lock out, like Brandon said, and they force you into to kind of one-on-one -on -one play. And fortunately for us, we were able to get to the free throw line. We were able to get to the basket, you know, like, like you mentioned before. Um, but we didn't give it back to them with turnovers in, in some of those one-on-one -on -one plays, which I think was a big key, stopping and then pivoting. We had four guards that all made plays all right, at different times in the game, going to the basket, stopping and finishing. KJ, RJ, LJ, and uh, Keandre. And obviously Brandon did as well. KJ, you mentioned it's your senior year, your last chance to uh, try to make it to an NCAA tournament. Even when you're banged up, what kind of drive does that give you uh, to try to make it to the NCAA tournament? Um, I mean, it's always a personal drive, uh, most definitely. But then you think about, you know, all the time you spent uh, in the summer here. You think about, you know, your teammates and how much they, they put in work, uh, how many hours, you know, your coaches stay up, you know, going over game plans and stuff to, to help you guys win games. All the fans that come out, you know, no matter what our record is or what's going on with the season, who's playing and who's not. And I mean, it's just a collective of things that just drives you forward and pushes you. Uh, uh, on top of the fact that it is my senior year, you know, I know I understand that this is going to be the last one. So I mean, it's a big, it's a big push and a big uh, motivation for me personally. But I think everybody on the team feels that, uh, and just knowing that we have, we're capable and we have everything we need right here. So uh, it's, it's, it's looking hopeful for everybody, for us, and we're, we're proud of that, excited about it. And Brandon, you played, I think, 40 minutes on 40 uh, um, today. I didn't take you out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, tighter rotation this time of year, how you prepare yourself to you know, go all 40. Yeah, I just uh, give them all, all whenever I'm out there. And then you, I try to uh, get a sub whenever I can promote them, but, you know. You didn't usually give it to them. Not usually. So <laughs> I just play hard. I want to win. Just like you just said, I want to make sense of tournament. I want to experience that again. So that's what drives me, keeps me going. Daniel gave you some, gives, always gives you energy. Always. He made the one great play where he dove after the Huge. ball and got you for the layup. Mm -hmm. I mean, still 14 minutes to go, but that almost it ignited a little bit of a run there. We talked about that in the timeout. You know, everybody gave him credit for that. You know, that's a winning play. That's what we call that. Yeah. It was just a winning play. Like he dove on the ground and got the ball and then was, had the presence of mind to be able to turn and find KJ. Uh, you know, we were able to get a basket out of that. Those kind of plays are huge. I mean, you think about the, how tight this game is, and when you get one of those, like, they're like gold. And, uh, you know, it just speaks to the resiliency of the team and, and the attitude and, and uh, never give up kind of mentality, never give up on a play. And that's what that was. Good example of it. Brian, you only played seven today. Yeah. Uh, what is it about, you know, the seven that you played, particularly settling on Keandre? Yeah. He's that seventh guy for you. What is it about the seven that you really like? You know, Keandre's athletic, you know, and, and he's played well, you know, as of late. And uh, he's, he's a good defender. Uh, he had a couple of lapses there, you know, in the game today that we, we certainly, I've already talked to him about and we've shown him, we'll show him on film. Um, but he really rebounds, he can handle the ball. Uh, he's a versatile player. And um, what I really like about him, too, is we're switching a lot. And he does a really good job when we switch of guarding post players when they roll down in there. He's very quick and athletic, so he just moves around. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's just growing in, in confidence. And uh, you think about he's he's another one that's had some injuries this year. Um, he's fortunately been healthy since we've been in conference play, but non-conference, he had ankle problems. And uh, you think back to the Towson game, I think he had like 17 points in that game. And, you know, we were dinged up, you know, at the time. And, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he's, he's really going to be a good player. Uh, we're lucky to have him. With him at the three, does that give you a lot of length, three through five? It does, and it allows us to, we can switch to the zone occasionally if we want to. You know, going into this game, we weren't sure about KJ and what he was going to be able to, to do within the game. So we had actually talked about Brandon playing the three some as well. Um, so it is, it's a versatile, you know, team that we have. We have some length. You know, we can put some big, big, big lineups out there. Any more questions? All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.